And we're going to share in a story called God's Dream. Oh, you've got your stuff on nicely done. Awesome. I think I would hurt myself if I used those. Yeah, really? If I get the hang on that easy? Okay, that's good to know. I bet it would take me a while, too. So we're going to share the story about God's Dream by Archbishop Desmond Tutu and Douglas Carlton Abrams. Let me slide over. Desmond Tutu, yes. And because of copyright, I'm not able to share it with our friends online. But if you'd like to look this story up, God's Dream, I invite you to do so. Listen um, to one another and to hear God's call. Do you ever think God's ever spoken to you? No? Probably? No? No? Do you think God has ever spoken to you? Any of you? Yeah? Yeah? I know it's hard. It's hard to discern that. It took me a while to figure out that God was calling me to be a pastor. It was when I was in my last year in college where I finally figured that out. And um, yes, there were times where God was saying, Sarah, oh, Sarah. I think you need to be a pastor. Oh, I don't want to be a pastor. But guess what? I listened. And so that's part of the art of living God's dream is to listen to each other. So I want to share the story with you. All right. Call story from Samuel and how we are asked to listen. When we listen to one another, we're able to live into this dream of caring for each other. And as the story says, we don't always have to like one another either. But guess what? 
we have to mutually respect one another, right? Even though it's kind of hard sometimes, right? Is it hard to be nice to your sister sometimes? Mm -hmm. yeah. I get it. It's so hard, and yet we do so with great love. So Kristen, again, Kristen's busy today. She's going to teach us another song.